How's it going, everybody? I'm Steve, and welcome back. So a lot of you may know this past Tuesday, Criterion did a 24-hour flash sale, and I actually picked up four titles that day. Uh, and the only reason why I did that is because I, I've actually been holding on to like a $50 gift card since uh, February of this year. So I thought, you know, obviously, there's a Barnes & Noble uh, sale happening in November that I'm definitely going to pick up a few titles then, too. But, but I just want to pick up these four titles. So it's like four titles cost me like $30 with that discount. So this is, a, this is the box here. I've actually uh, actually watched one of these already, so it's actually not a true uh, unboxing, but uh, I just, uh, I'm really excited to show these off, though. Okay, so these aren't going to be ranked. You'll see the movie poster on the side here, and it'll have like the, uh, the number on them, but they're, they're not ranked. It's going to go from one to four. But uh, this is actually from my director. I've watched like 19 movies from this year. It was a big blind spot in my collection. It's, uh, this first one's from 1935. It's spine number 56, and the movie is The 39 Steps. Obviously, it's from uh, you know, director Alfred Hitchcock. I've, uh, like I said, I've watched a lot of movies from him this year. I've, I've enjoyed quite a few of them. This uh, is actually an all-British cast. Uh, Robert Donnett and uh, Madeline Carroll. Like I said, I've never heard of these people. I'm, I, I'm sure they've been deceased for, for quite a while. But, but I, I look forward to checking this one out. I, I've seen this one before, like half, half price books before, and I've passed on it. But I, I decided, you know, Hitch Hitchcock has like, you know, Criterion has like eight movies from him in the collection. I've, I've got like three so far. This is the third one. So I, 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 one of these days I'll get the other ones, but uh, I, I definitely want to check this one out though. Okay, so the second one here is actually from uh, 1979, spine number 777, and the movie is The Brood. This one's actually uh, from uh, David Cronenberg. I, I had, I had, when I did my top 10 like uh, horror movies in, in the Criterion Collection recently, I asked people, should I check this movie out? And a lot of people said, yeah, this is a pretty good movie. I, I've seen little clips from this movie before. Uh, I, I know the it's, uh, the the big reveal in the movie is is a, something kind of a it's been around in horror for for a long time. It's just it took me a long time to check this movie out. And I I would say this one maybe ranked like maybe third or fourth in my maybe probably like third in my my David Cronenberg collection. But uh, actually, this uh, has Oliver Reed in this movie. I you know it's amazing that he's an amazing actor in his in his day. Uh, Samantha uh, Eager, uh, Art Handel. If you've seen like uh, Black Christmas, who's in that movie. He's also in uh, Invasion of the ba Body Snatchers. And it has uh, Cindy Hines. She's the one that plays a little girl in the movie. But I, I, I enjoy this movie a lot, though. I, I, I was surprised how much I liked it. This, uh, this criterion actually comes with uh, Crimes of the Future, like, like the, 1970, the 1970 version. It's just a lot different from the, uh, the one from 2022 with the same title. And, and that movie, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really like it very much. <laughs> I liked The Brood a lot, but I, I didn't like the Crimes of the Future from 1970. Except it was it was nice to see like you know, Canada back in the back in the early '70s. That was that was interesting to see, but I, I just didn't like the story. Uh, I thought it was really really odd. Let me know in the in the, in the comments if you like that movie. I, I I'm not sure how many people really would, but uh, but the, the, like I said, The Brood I really really enjoyed. It, it was a great horror movie. Uh, it, it's different from from Cronenberg. It's, it's more of more of a straight you know straight up uh, horror movie. All right, so this third one's actually pretty new to the collection. It was just uh, released in September. And I, I noticed it's actually on back order right now on the Criterion website, and you can get it on 4K as well. But uh, this one's from 1998. It's by number uh, 1235, and the movie is Happiness. This one, like I said, I've, I've never, I've not even seen a trailer to this movie. I have no idea what it's really about. It's uh, from uh, director uh, Todd Solange. Uh, it has a, uh, he's actually a writer in this as well. But it has a, this one has a, the late uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. It has a, you know, a Laura Flynn Boyle. Uh, John Lovitz, uh, Ben Gazzara, uh, Jared Harris, uh, you know, his, uh, his father was Richard Harris, a really famous, uh, you know, actor. Like I said, it, these are blind blinds, so I have no idea really what this is about. I think it's it maybe a comedy, maybe kind of a kind of a dark comedy in some ways, I, I don't know, but... Okay, so this last one's actually not the oldest one I have in this, in this hall. It's uh, from 1940, it's by number 901, and the movie is The Philadelphia Story. <laughs> Unbelievable here, this, the, the cast in this, in this movie is definitely amazing. Has a, you know, it's from director George uh, George Cukor. Has a Cary Grant in this movie. Uh, you know, uh, Catherine Hepburn, James Stewart. Come on, you got those three. <laughs> you know, the famous actors there. Are just a amazing, amazing talent on on screen in this one. So, uh, like I said, I, I watched a ton of uh, you know Cary Grant movies. I watched a lot, a lot of uh, you know James Stewart movies with, with the you know Hitchcock's had, had those uh, those two actors in a lot of his movies. Catherine Hepburn. I've watched this. Might be like the third or fourth movie I've seen from her. So I, I can't wait to watch this one. It just I, I've heard a lot of people talk about it, say, say really great things about it. So, All right, everybody, I really appreciate you watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these uh, four movies. I, like I said, I've only watched one of these so far, so can't wait to watch the other ones. But uh, 
obviously if you're not uh, already subscribed to my channel please do that please put a thumbs up on this video it definitely helps with the youtube algorithm everybody have a great one